hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Masi Mahinda and the last time I did a video I asked you guys if you'd want me to give you more info on the PAO scholarship and in precisely the PAO uh, one that is based in Kenya and most I got quite a number of comments of people telling me yeah, please tell us more about the scholarship we'd want to know more so today I'll be taking through the steps of application for the PAO scholarship it's pretty straightforward the only thing you have to do is make sure that you attach all the documents that are required just follow the steps and if you performed very well in your undergraduate then there's a high likelihood of you getting the scholarship remember there's a merit-based scholarship so it means they look at how you performed for you to be able to get into the program guys i'll be going to the the Pausti page or the pow page because there are so many options or so many institutions that have partnered with pow that uh, allow you to be able to pursue different um uh, degree courses for uh, your master's level and your PhD. So I will go to just I will Google Pow, and when I go to the official Pan African University, um, then we'll go to when you go to their website. This is what they show you. So welcome to the Pan-African Universities and it is showing you the institutes where you can pursue your master's and your PhD. So according to these uh, websites, there are five institutes as at, at the moment and there's water and energy sciences, um, including climate change that you will find that is powerless. Uh, that will be in, is in Algeria. Then we have uh, basic science, technology and innovation. Uh, post in Kenya. This is specifically the one that um, I applied to. This is what I got into for my master's in mechatronics engineering. And then there's life and earth sciences, which you'll get in Nigeria. And there's governance, humanities and social sciences, Cameroon and space sciences, which is in South Africa. So basically what uh, these uh, institutes do is they have specializations depending on whatever it is that you're taking. In the case of myself, I was doing engineering uh, and uh, science, and as you can see, science, technology, innovation, uh, the, the center is uh, is Pausti, which is based at, uh, at JQUAT, that is Jambo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and, uh, and Technology. Yeah? So I've seen they've said uh, the applications for 2021, 2022. So if I click on that, it will definitely uh, show you what you need for you to qualify for a master's. So for candidates who want to do a master's, you have to be, if you're male, your maximum age is 30 years. If you're female, you're 35 years. And uh, you have to have, of course, an undergraduate degree from a recognized university for you to be able to qualify for master's. You need certified copies of relevant certificates, uh, transcripts from university and high school. Uh, this, of course, um, it means your transcripts. I will be showing you my exact application, the one that I did. I still have a folder of all the documents that I attached for my application or whatever I used to apply for the PAO scholarship. And then you will definitely need um, your passport or national ID uh, card uh, details. So you have to have that document, a clear colored passport size. And of course, you've been given the size for the passport. So when you're going to take your photos, make sure you, they get the dimensions right. And you will need a CV. So and a recommendation letter from one of his or her former university lecturers. So in our case, the last time they needed two of these. So you had, and the good thing here, they've actually changed the requirement. It was uh, university lecturers. In our case, we needed to have professors. So I had to look for professors and they're not the easiest people to find, especially when it comes to engineering. So yeah, I really had to look for professors. So I think they've made it a bit easier for the team that is coming in. And you also need name of three reference university lecturers with email address and WhatsApp. So basically it's like uh, referees. Of course, the admissions also for the doctoral program, but I will not be going to details because I cannot. Probably the requirements might be almost the same. Maybe a few changes here and there, but I'll be taking you what I've already done, which is for my master's in my case. And um, so let's open... A document where uh, my folder where I had the the PAO scholarship 
so guys as i'd said uh they will definitely ask for your transcript certified so you need to go back to university to make sure they confirm that it's legit and you're not just showing somebody else's transcripts so i attached my first year to my fifth year transcripts this was my third year as i said before i really worked hard for my undergraduate so don't worry when you see the a's just dropping her babe was working hard to make sure she gets a scholarship for her master's study so my five fifth year that's how i performed i did very well and also for the cover letter i had we had to write a cover letter i don't think i've seen that in the previous so i think it's becoming the requirements are bits i would say a bit easy as compared to when we had to do it um I had to attach uh, the degree certificate which needs to be certified as well so you need to go to a university let them stamp your transcripts and uh, and your your degree certificate just to show that they are legit and you're not you didn't go somewhere else like river road in the case of nairobi to just get you your certificates and um in our cases i told you we needed to have recommendation letters so here is um, a recommendation letter for myself and of course as you can see i had to get a professor so in my case uh, my spell was professor james uh curator and we had to do two we had to we had two professors i had professor james curator and i had um who else did i have uh, uh peter moshiri he didn't teach me but getting a professor as i said for engineering is not the easiest thing so if i could get anyone who was a professor then i did what i could do so that those are my recommendation letters clearly signed by the professors in your case in this current application case i don't think you need to get this i think you just need to get from a lecturer they didn't specify whether the lecturer needs to be a professor a doctor they didn't give those details so just make sure when you're given your your requirements that uh, you adhere to those requirements make sure you don't miss out on any docu doc any documents um and the secret here guys is this pau pausti is it's a merit scholarship what that means the scholarship that are miss, need uh, based on need the scholarships that are based on merit if it's a need scholarship then you need to prove that you financially you cannot afford to be able to go to school and probably sometimes they usually have you need to perform well of course and then you show you have financial need a merit scholarship they do not care whether you have the money to pay for your masters or not what they're trying to look is they're rewarding hard work so they want someone who's performed well for you to get um to get uh the scholarship let me tell you this uh for all the people i've talked to who've gotten this scholarship in kenya for all the people i know um most not most of them actually all of them the kenyan ones the ones i've talked to they all got first classes so if you find yourself that you've been applied year on year and you don't seem to be getting the scholarship probably you got a second class upper um, chances are someone in the same course applied applied for the same course and probably had better grades than you and they met all the requirements as well like they attached all the required documents and at the same time they performed well maybe they had a first class because it's a merit based remember they are going to, to consider those people who can performed better and from what i've realized is like kenyan students you know kenyans really study like kenyans are competitive very competitive and people really work hard so in other uh people from other countries you might get someone who got an a uh, second class upper but the kenyans the ones i've talked to who've gone through this program all of them got first class honors hope you enjoyed or you learned one thing one or two things from the video that i just did and taking you through the pau application uh, process and i hope most of you will consider applying especially if you performed very well in your undergraduate and the advantages that come with applying for for a scholarship or rather going doing your masters under scholarship one of them being the likelihood of you finishing the scholarship within good time so until next time guys like comment subscribe and bye bye <laughs>